In this video and the next one, we're going to look at how you construct truth tables for the following logic gates, not, and, or, xor, nand, and nor. We're going to become familiar with drawing and interpreting logic gate circuit diagrams involving one or more of these gates, and we're going to look at how you can complete a truth table for a given logic gate circuit. Before we dive into some of that though, it's important we spend some time in this video defining problems using Boolean logic and getting to know the various symbols and terminology that will be involved. So let's start with NOT, which will also be known in the exam as negation. NOT simply reverses the output. So if A is 0, the output becomes 1. If A is 1, the output becomes 0. It basically reverses. The symbol in AQA used for negation is a line and we place it above the uh, Boolean statement that we want to not. So this represents A, and then the line above it represents not A. The next one to get your head around is AND, which is known as conjunction. So here, if A and B are 1, the output is 1. In all other circumstances, the output is 0. So both the inputs have to be 1, A and B, and then the output is 1. The symbol used for this is a circle or dot. So you can see here, uh, written as Boolean uh, logic, we have A and B. Now, it should be noted, by the way, especially if you're looking in textbooks that aren't from the exam board you're studying, that there are quite a few different symbols that can be used to represent uh, and or not, etc. For example, um, this is also um, a Boolean symbol for and. So we could write A and B. Now, while you'll technically get uh, the correct answer using any variant of the um, symbols, it's best to stick to the ones which your exam board is using and the ones used by the exam board textbook. And they're the ones we're covering in this video. Next is OR, which is known as disjunction. Uh, so what does this do? This says if either A or B are 1, the output is 1. Otherwise, the output is 0. So only have to have one of these inputs being 1 and the output is 1. The symbol we use for this is a plus sign. So this statement here reads A or B. Now there's a slightly different version of OR that you'll come across called exclusive OR, XOR. This is known as exclusive disjunction. So in this case, if either A or B are 1, but not the other, the output is 1. Now this is subtly different to OR. With OR, as long as one of these is a 1, the output is 1. And indeed, that could mean both. So if that is a 1, the output is 1. If that's a 1, the output is 1. If both of them are 1, the output is 1. But with exclusive OR, it has to be just one or the other. It can't be both. So with exclusive OR, we use the OR symbol of a plus, but enclose it in a circle. So this reads A, exclusive OR, B. There's also a couple other gates worth mentioning, and that's NAND and NOR. NAND simply is NOT AND. So it's the AND logic followed by NOT to become NAND. So here we have the notation for A and B, and we already remember that to NOT something you put a line over it, so this statement here reads NOT A or B. In a similar fashion to NAND, we also have NOR, which simply means NOT OR. So an OR followed by NOT becomes NOR. Now remember the symbol for an OR is a plus, and we NOT something by putting the line over it. So here we have A or B with a NOT over it to make NOT A or B, or more simply, NOR. Now as you're going to see in the later videos, it's possible to chain together um, various Boolean expressions and terms, and we can end up getting things quite complicated. So here we have a statement A and not B, or B and C. So we would say A and not B, 
or B and C. And then typically the exam, you may see these statements with or without brackets, and you may be expected to interpret them in different ways. OK, make sure you're familiar with all these various symbols and words, and then proceed on to the next video.